Welcome, my fellow Leos, to your March 2019 general reading. Insight to your secret message. I am a Leo also, so I'm a little excited. This is going to be a reading for us. For you guys mainly, it's not about me, it's about you guys delivering messages that you guys need to hear. So if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new, thank you for stopping by, thank you for watching, thank you for clicking on the title. And I hope you enjoy it and I hope it resonates somewhat for you. So if you do enjoy the reading, please subscribe, help this channel to grow and flourish. It's fairly new and it make it a big bright light to shine. Uh, so people can get these messages that they need to hear. So please like the video. That's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube is if you like them. Please comment. I love to read the comments. If it resonates in any way for you, share. Share on social media, your friends, family, whomever. Share away. Um, if you do subscribe, hit the little bell so you'll be notified of when new readings are posted. Um, you can check the description box below for all the decks I'm using. My information is there for personal readings. My PayPal link is there if you wish to tip or donate as an exchange of energy for these free readings that I do to keep the channel running. No amount is too small. And um, it does take time and energy to do this, but I just love it so much to help you guys that um, any tips or donations are greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you for that. Um, Please keep, keep in mind it may or may not resonate with every single Leah out there as it is a general collective reading. So if you're looking for more answers or more clarity, a personal reading is suggested. Um, take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. If, if at any time certain things resonate and some things don't, please don't try to make it fit. Just keep what resonates and throw the rest away. The energies can be interchangeable, so uh, I will be pulling a card here to see what other energy you may be dealing with in March or well, whenever after that. Um, so we could get a planet, which is associated, planets are associated to signs, um, or an element energy or a fellow sign. And if you're not dealing with that energy sign, then just toss that out also. Um, cross watchers are welcome if you're watching because you're dealing with some with a Leo uh, in some way in your life. This is general, so it can be family, friend, co-worker, or you know, maybe your spouse if you really want to know what's going on with them generally. Um, then you're more than welcome to watch. There may be in, a message in here for you. Uh, you, Leo, can also cross-watch for anybody you're dealing with. Their readings may be helpful to you to see what, what's going on with them. We may pick up energies of past, present, or future, so please keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate at all, you can check other signs in your chart. If you know the signs in your chart, like your sun's, uh, well, this is your sun sign, but your moon sign, your rising sign, you may resonate more with those readings, especially you, you may have another sign more predominantly in your chart rather than just your sun sign. You may want to follow that sign and not your sun sign. That's just... I'm not an astrologist, but that's just kind of how I feel about that. Um, if you are a recurring viewer, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in the next round of love readings I'll be doing for April. So the videos that get the most likes in this round of general readings will be first in line to have their love readings done. So if you want to see your love readings done for the month of April, then please like these videos when you watch them. So if Leos like their videos the most, their love reading will be first for um, April. So please keep that in mind. Check the discussion tab too on my uh, YouTube page. I have a big post there about new readings I want to do. Uh, I may go live too at some point and do live readings, maybe answer some questions you might have and pull a few tarot. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, please go to the discussion tab, leave some comments, give me some ideas, some uh, feedback, be greatly appreciated. Or if you're new and you do like the way I read, you can subscribe and then you can go leave your comment also. So keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to get started. All the decks have been pre-shuffled and cut, meditated on, but I will shuffle each one just a little more in... Uh, camera on camera if you're new to my channel just to let you know I mostly only take flyers so shuffling 
maybe, you know, have to be patient because it might be a little bit of shuffling in between. So, you know, I feel the cards that come out are meant, cards that are meant to come out, come out. Uh, sometimes I do take one if it is stuck up in the deck like this and I feel called to pull it. I will do that also. But main, mainly I take flyers. And uh, I don't take big clumps. I take up to three. So if big clumps fall out, I will put them back and keep shuffling. Okay, so for Leo, for March 2019, insight to their secret message. For March 2019, for Leo, what type of energy may some of them be dealing with for March 2019? That's too many. I just want one card, please, Spirit, one card. For Leos, for March 2019. That one almost wanted to fly. We have one card for Leo for March. Who or what they may be dealing with for March 2019. Spirit, please. This one card. I still take that one. Let's see what we have. Aries. Hmm. Fire sign. Fire and fire. I've been getting a lot of the same element in the past few readings I've done. I had air and air for Gemini. I just did uh, Cancer, and I had Water and Water for Cancer, and now for Leo, I got Fire and Fire, so, yeah, big theme. So with this deck here, we are going to get your secret message. See what your insight is for March, what you need to know for March. What's going on for March for you guys, Leo? And we'll pull one card, and at the end, I'll go over the bottom of the deck of this deck, and once all the tarot are pulled, and then I'll go over the bottom deck of the tarot for extra messages there also. So can we have one card for Leo for March 2019 for the general reading? What is their secret message? What do they need to know? It's too many. What do they need to know? I just want one card, Spirit, please. One card. For the sign of Leo for March. Oh, I keep wanting to give me two. I just want one. One card, Spirit. It's just one card. For March 2019. For Leo. What is their message? What is their secret message? What do they need? There we go. Okay. What do we have here? We have heal the ouch okay so this is like healing the boo-boo uh some kind of pain or something you've been through needs to be healed something needs to be healed 38 that is 11 that's a divine number it's a life purpose number so let me see 38 if there's any message in here uh, for somebody forgiveness soothing of the heart body soul and mind healing healing arts restoring others well others wellness change our behaviors to heal the earth uh, a lot of this is about uh, conservation of like uh, electricity, water, things like that, healthier diet, um, respecting the earth, old wounds that need to be healed, reconciliation. So yeah, something needs to be healed or forgiven or something like that. So. We'll see how that plays out for you, Leo. Now with this deck, tarot deck, we're going to clarify this message with 8 to 10 tarot cards. See what your situation is, what needs to be healed, what needs forgiveness, whose boo-boo needs to be healed, Leo. Did you give somebody a boo-boo or did someone give you a boo-boo? <laughs> Okay. Wow, I didn't even ask yet. 
Okay, so I didn't even have to ask because here we have um, the Page of Stones, which is the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Four of Scrolls, which is the Four of Swords. So we have Earth Energy and uh, Air Energy. doesn't have to be, but this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But like I said, if those signs don't resonate, then you can just toss them out. I just do that in case somebody is not dealing with an Aries. Maybe they're dealing with uh, another sign. Um, so the Four of Scrolls in this card talks about healing. And the Four of Scrolls, which is the Four of Swords, is about healing. It's about taking a break, taking a rest, recuperating, retreating, spending some time alone, contemplating, thinking. So yeah, definitely healing energy here. And then you have the Page of Stones, which is a message uh, pages are messages. So this is either a message is coming into you. It's very slow moving. Maybe it's something that you've been waiting for for a very, very long time here. And this four of uh, scrolls energy. And it's like almost like you're praying and hoping for someone to reach out to you to help heal something that happened in the past. I see it's coming in, or it has come in. Like I said, I think it's very, it was very slow moving, took a very long time. But this offer or this apology or whatever it is coming in or this message of can we have a conversation, whatever it is, it's honest, it's pure, it's true, it comes from a good place. You can trust this uh, message coming in, however that resonates for you. Pentacles are very trustworthy. They're honest. They're pure, sincere. They're stable and grounded. You've been waiting for a message from this person to heal whatever happened. Okay, I didn't really ask either, but... So now, while you get another messenger card wow two messenger cards here with the page of spirals and the page of stones the page of spirals is fire energy so there's the fire energy leo sagger aries it's a very um passionate message it doesn't have to be passion it can be passion in a non-sexual way just very enthusiastic um energetic type of energy um like really wanting to come forward and maybe it just took them a very long time but that now they're very excited and they're very um what's the word i'm looking for like have a lot of drive to finally come forward and help you know heal the situation or whatever it is and now you have the magician which can be gemini or virgo and this is manifestation this is someone making their dreams become reality uh, using all the tools of life in life to bring about something that you've been ho hoping and wishing and dreaming for, doing the steps needed to bring this into reality. So, they fell out in this order. Maybe this person just manifested their own strength and courage to finally step forward. Maybe they worked on themselves and manifested a transformation within themselves and finally knew the right thing to do was to come forward to you. Maybe they did something to you that you had to heal from and now they're finally coming forward to apologize, to have a conversation. But something's manifesting here. Something's going to come into reality probably for you. I feel like this is your energy of just resting, recuperating, and these messages are coming into you. Whether you help manifest this by maybe you've been hoping and wishing and, con and uh, dreaming, praying, also in this energy, healing energy, maybe sending out healing vibes to this other person also. Because we have a lot of heal energy here with heal the ouch. Okay, so let's see what's going on here for you, Leo. I feel that one. 
behind that one. Knight of Scrolls. So this is the Knight of Swords, Libra Gemini Aquarius. And now we have the Five of Spirals, which is Fire Energy, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So well, this is the Knight of Scrolls. So the Knight of Scrolls can be somebody who comes in and speaks their truth with um, honesty, clarity, stands up, takes action. This is an action card, the Knights. Uh, stands firmly planted, uh, firmly grounded, stands their ground. Not afraid to cut away people, places, or things that are no longer serving them either. But also, you know, rushes in with a truth. They're noble, they're honest, their intentions are pure and true. Can be a little, maybe too fast moving, a little harsh and brash, maybe take, comes forward taking action without really thinking. And I kind of get that energy with, because you got two conflicting energies here of being very slow, strong, and stable, and then you have this energy of being very, and grounded in this energy of being very excited and passionate, and just a drive to come forward, and then you got the night, this is the action coming forward with these messages, and this is also a very fast-moving, um, rushing in kind of energy, and they have to be careful, they don't rush in too quick and make a mess of things, and kind of disrupt everything. They need to think first before they rush, just rush in with these messages. And that speaks of the five of spirals, uh, can be conflict. So the way they might come in and finally approach you may cause a little bit of conflict. Maybe they're just going to rush in too fast and just blah, 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 splurge everything out. And maybe you take it the wrong way. Um, it seems a little harsh and brash. And I don't think that is really going to be their intention. They're just going to have so much built up inside of them, this like excited passion or whatever it is of like mending or whatever it is and just may cause a little bit of conflict. So if that happens, if somebody rushes in with an, an apology or something, just know that they may not intentionally mean to come in the way they come in. They might just come in erratically, not thinking, and may just present themselves the wrong way. Not on purpose, but we have a few more cards for Leo. Who is coming in? Why are they apologizing? Is it a friend, a family member, a co-worker? Could be a romantic partner, but this is a general reading, so I want to keep it general. But again, you take it however it resonates. If it resonates towards a romantic type of partner, then take it that way. If it fits more towards a family member, a friend, a co-worker, you know, you take it how it resonates. So now you have Justice. This is Libra Energy, and this is uh, the Justice card. So this could be dealing with something in the justice system. This could be writings of wrongs, um, getting justice, serving justice. Maybe someone's rushing in here with messages. And maybe you've been hoping and wishing and trying to manifest it too. Of coming back together with somebody or somebody hoping somebody comes back in to heal some situation that happened. And it would serve justice in the situation probably to you. And now here is the justice being served. So there will be uh, a righting of a wrong or balancing of the scale. Some sort of justice here will be served. It doesn't have to mean legal justice. It just can mean karmic justice, can be in a good way. Um, personal justice of some kind, balancing out the scales. Okay, I'm just going to ask for one more card. Five of scrolls. So now this is uh, Ear Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is sort of like the defeat at all cost card. Um, I think they're going to come rushing in 
and wanting to just heal the situation very quickly, um, no matter what, no matter how they do it, with this Five of Scrolls energy. But I see that may cause conflict here. But uh, I think they know that justice needs to be served, but their energy may be in the wrong place. I think their mind and their heart is in the wrong place. But the way their energy comes across may come across in the wrong way, if that makes any sense. So I feel like we need a couple more cards to clarify. Can we have a couple more cards to clarify for Leo for March 2019? Please, Spirit. Are there any more clarifiers in this situation? What's going on for Leo? Heal the ouch. What's being healed? What's getting justice? Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so <laughs> so whatever the outcome is, whatever the situation is now, you have the six of spirals. This is the six of wands. This is the success and victory card. So I see here um, that this will be a success. It may just come across in the wrong way at the time it comes comes across or happens so keep in mind the intentions are good honest pure and true solid and stable it's just the energy they might come in with the wrong type of energy to heal the situation so keep that in mind because you do have success and victory here this is a good um sort of outcome so that's a good card Maybe, you know, you just need to wave the flag, say, hey, hold up, wait a minute now, you know, slow down there, cowboy, and uh, wave that white flag. <laughs> or, you know, one of these kind of flags and say, wait, oh, hold up, take it a little bit slower here, what's going on? See this flag? Looks like it's been waved around a little bit. <laughs> have nine of scrolls yeah a lot of air energy again and uh this is having stress anxiety uh worry sleepless nights so maybe this person has just been up in their head about this whole situation or you have been either way the roles can reverse someone's been really stressed out about the situation needing and wanting and knowing the right thing to do is to come in serve justice right the wrong heal the ouch have this healing energy heal you or them heal the situation but there's a need to keep in mind there like i said their energy coming in may be taken the wrong way but their intentions are in a good place so, because you have the success and victory card here. So, let's see what's in the bottom of the deck. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, this is the Ace of Spirals. So, this is a brand new passionate beginning, exciting beginning, a creative beginning, a new idea beginning. This is a brand new, it could be a brand new beginning with this person, but once this ouch has been healed, and if you reduce 8 and 3 is 11, 11 reduces to 2 is two people coming together. So I see the ouch will be healed. There'll be a brand new beginning with this person. Yeah, two people coming together. Be more uh, loving, understanding, compassionate. And now you have the king of spirals. Here's that fire energy. That's the king of wands. Leo Sagittarius. So definitely could be dealing with another fire sign. I mean, this could even be a father figure in your life, or maybe even your own father. An uncle, some form of family member, um, an elder who was like a mentor in your life. Could be anybody. And then you have the Nine of Cups under that, the Nine of Mirrors. So that's a wish come true, a wish granted, happiness, fulfillment, joy. With somebody, I, I'm getting like father vibes. I mean, or maybe just an older person. 
can be male or female, but it's a fire sign. Coming together, healing the ouch. Look at that. Healing the ouches, healing the boo-boos. Coming together with uh, loving, uh, compassionate healing energies. And then you have a brand new beginning here. The Ace of Spirals. Brand new beginning. That's kind of nice, Leo. However the situation fits for you, you know, take it how it resonates into your situation. If it doesn't fit, it's not resonating, then this message probably is not for you. So, oops, my cards are upside down. Bottom of the deck, we have Ori Desert. I think that's how you say it, number 31. And that reduces to four. And that is like the healing energy here of the Four of Scrolls. Fours are kind of like um, contemplating, resting energy, um, a solitude kind of energy, contemplating energy. So let's see what, is that dry desert? Oh, dry desert, okay. That D looks like an O. It's kind of a weird uh, print there. So number 31. Dry desert. Okay. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem yet that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on endless on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're, you're searching for. Consider the cre creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of outer environment. In a desert, water essential for life can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is a most important place to find what's truly right for you. So that's almost like being in this healing energy here. You feel like, you know, you feel like kind of like a dry desert, like there's no hope, you know, what's going to become of the situation, you know, where's the water, where, you know, where is the things I am looking for, but it's telling you to stay positive, to dig deep. So I, I do see probably deep healing. That just could mean deep healing here in this situation in a brand new beginning so however that resonates for you i do see you know healing there is a lot of healing here healing here healing there uh justice being served brand new beginning compassion love and then you know could be this fire sign coming in aries leo Sag coming in uh if there was someone that were that was not uh, stable before, I think they are more grounded and stable now. And wishes fulfilled, happiness and joy. So Leo, uh, that was your March 2019 general reading, Insight to Your Secret Message. I hope it resonated in some way. If it did and you enjoyed this reading, please again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when new readings go up. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Good luck to you in this situation. And I hope this healing energy comes in for you in this new beginning. So I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.